You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. Welcome to This House of Books. Uh, you're watching With a Cup of Tea, and we have with us author Wayne Edwards, who is from Denton. Uh, and Wayne has two books out now, and uh, I know he's working on a third one. Wayne, let's talk about the books in a little bit, and maybe you could just tell us a little about yourself first. Where are you from and what do you do, that kind of thing? Yeah, sure, Mark. First of all, thanks uh, thanks much for, for having me and look, looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I'm an old guy, uh, and I was born and raised in the little uh, community of Denton, Montana, which is up in uh, central Montana near near Lewistown, a little town of about 300 people. And uh, so I graduated from high school there in uh, 1971, went to uh, MSU uh, Bozeman and uh, graduated from there and, and eventually ended up back in my little, uh, my little community. Our family had a, uh, uh, a little ag bank there, uh, which was started by my grandfather in 1929, and my dad after him, and me after after my dad. So uh, it was kind of a long-standing uh, tradition there, and so typical of what happens in small towns. When I when I went back to to Denton and to the bank, uh, which was back in give you a little time perspective that was back in, in 1986 uh, you know in small towns you're generally asked to do do some things that you might not be asked to do in an urban setting and uh, so I had played uh, I had played uh, football at Montana State and uh, so I I had some some background and uh, some knowledge, uh, I guess, of, of, of football. And so when I got back there about two weeks before the season started in 1991, uh, our, our, our coach left and we just, the superintendent called me in and said, you know, Wayne, we, I can't get anybody on this short of notice. Uh, you're the most logical guy that can, can coach this team. So I said, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll take it for a year, but you'll have to, you'll have to find somebody else. And uh, for the following years, well, you know how that goes six years, six years later. It's, it sounds like you've really uh, uh, captured some important stuff about small town life. I mean, really, it's a, it's the kind of environment where everybody really counts and everybody pretty much has to step up and do everything because otherwise it just won't happen. Exactly. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So there you are co coaching football. Because right. you know, it's just, there aren't enough people to go around. Right. <laughs> You're yeah. it. Yeah. 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 There you go. And so that setting was the inspiration for my, my first book called Pacer Cooley Chronicles, which is set in a 1990 era. Uh, Time frame, and it's it's basically a story about the close interconnections between school, sport, and community in rural small town America, and of course, in this case, uh, rural small town Montana. And uh, so uh, that was the inspiration uh, uh, for that book, and that's. Uh, but of course, I didn't start writing that till till many years later. I finished my banking career just recently and uh and i'm now now retired and so basically i think my i have three uh three daughters and so i think when i retired they were worried that i was going to drive their mother crazy <laughs> by <clears throat> being around all the time so they said dad you need to you need to write some books and and that sort of led into, uh, actually, they wanted me, the first book they wanted me to do, which turned out to be the second one, uh, was a bedtime story that I had made up 
this is the children's book, of course, Buster the Bridger Mountain Bear. And uh, so I had made this little story up and told my, my kids countless times and my told my eight grandkids countless times. And uh, so they said, you know, you need to get that on paper. And uh, so after the first book, then I did go to work on that. And as you you mentioned that it's not quite out. It'll be out here in a couple of weeks, and uh, we're we're getting it getting it launched. And so uh, that's that's basically my story. I spent my uh, my career of banking in uh, in the little town of Denton there, and uh, and just just recently retired. It's probably pretty obvious who these uh, books would appeal to. Um... But I'm just going to ask anyway. <laughs> um, let's start with your uh, children's book. Uh, uh, Who would you have in mind? You 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 wrote this with uh, your your children in mind, did you? The the story basically, uh, Buster is a young two year old uh, bear who obviously lives in the Bridger Mountains, and uh, so. He gets his head, he's poking around looking for some honey and some insects and he sticks his head in a log, a fallen log on the ground and gets his head stuck. So the story is, is basically about, uh, we've got all kinds of animals. We got Gabby the gopher, we got Savannah the skunk, we got Bucky the beaver, we got Ernesto the elk, we got Mortimer the moose, and, uh, Brutus the badger, and, and at any rate, all of these, uh, the story is about how all of the animals pull together and, uh, and they have to summon Oliver Wendell Owl III, who is the wisest uh, of all animals on Bridger Mountain, uh, when they're totally stumped as to how to get, get his head unstuck from the log. And uh, so, so the owl comes up with a with a plan, and it uh, it gets gets executed perfectly, and uh, and you'll be glad to know that Buster's head at the very end gets extracted, and everybody is everybody is happy. So, so yeah, the uh, three to seven age group is 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 my uh, target audience there. Yeah. Okay, and then Pacer Cooley. What I really try to portray is the uh, in this book is small town living. And, and again, this concept that uh, the connections between uh, school sport and community. And, and so a big part of my book is, uh, you know, is the town's folks. Uh, uh, it's the old, the old farmers that come in at seven o'clock in the morning for the coffee. <laughs> coffee shop group and uh, and of course the main topic of conversation is is sports right uh, you know what how the boys do how the girls do uh, you know and uh, so I think anybody that has an interest in you know what what is life like in a, in a small town uh, I think they can can find a lot out about that uh, by by reading my book uh, uh, so hopefully it's uh, a little bit more than just strictly about about sports, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's basically a uh, it's a story about a the 1990 uh, football and girls basketball season. Well, Wayne, thanks for joining us. You bet. Thank we you for having it. me. Yeah, we we look forward to uh, seeing your books and. And uh, best of luck with uh, your continuing work. Thank you very much. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.